Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today we bring you a wiring tutorial video on SkyDroid G20 connecting to SkyDroid S2 for debugging on the remote controller. SkyDroid G20 remote controller is equipped with Qualcomm's latest 6 nanometers processor and the Android 13 system, which can easily perform hardware decoding on H.264, H.265 and 4K video streams, and can run all kinds of ground station software smoothly. SkyDroid S2 multifunctional avionics system is equipped with the automotive-grade sensor BM088. As a high-performance inertial measurement unit, the BMI088 can provide low noise and low drift characteristics in an environment with temperature fluctuations. It also boasts excellent ruggedness and stability. The video is mainly divided into three parts. What products will be used in this test? How to do the wiring? How to present? What products will be used in this test? The products used in this test are SkyDroid G20 Remote Controller, SkyDroid S2 GPS Kit, 5300 mAh battery. Cables used S2 Power Cable JST to XT60 Adapter, G20 Power Cable, G20 RF Cable, Telem 1 Spus IN Cable. How to do the wiring? Telem 1 Spus IN port of the S2 module connects to the Telem 1 SBUS port of the G20 receiver. The connector for the S2 module is GH1.257 pin, and the connector for the SBUS port of the G20 receiver is GH1.255 pin. The GPS module connects to the GPS port of the S2 module with a GH1.256 pin connector. The RF cable connects to the ANT port of the G20 receiver, then the antenna connects to the RF cable. The adapter connects to the battery. The S2 power cable connects to the POW port of the S2 module to supply power. The connector for the POW port is GH1.255 pin, and the other end uses a JST 2.54mm 2P connector. Use the G20 power cable to supply power to the receiver. The receiver port uses XT30, and the other end uses JST 2.54mm 2P. How to present. Turn on the remote controller. 
Enter the Tools Assistant. Go to Advanced Settings. The password is 999. Check the UART port baud rate and set it to 921,600. Open Fly GCS and the ground station will connect directly. If not connected, click the top left, select Switch Connection, find the S2 interface to connect. Shake the S2 module and you can see the ground station displays the flight controller status in real time. Click the top left menu to enter the vehicle settings interface. Password is 999. In the monitor interface, you can check if the channel output is normal. In the motor test interface, you can check the output of each motor one by one. You can also perform compass calibration. There are two methods. Compass Calibration. Rotate the drone in all directions until the progress bar reaches 100%. Level and Vertical Calibration. Follow the prompts in the interface step by step. You can also perform Horizontal Level Height Calibration. To perform ESC calibration, follow the steps below. Click the Calibrate button. Disconnect the battery. Insert the battery. ESC Auto Calibrates. Vehicle restarts normally. This concludes the wiring tutorial video on SkyDroid G20 connecting to SkyDroid S2 for debugging on the remote controller. Thank you for watching and supporting us.
If you have any questions about the content or want us to go deeper into any part in future videos, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to follow the World Drone Market channel. We'll continue to bring you more drone equipment reviews, tutorials and practical guides. See you in the next video.